In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Realtek High Definition Audio Driver Error 0001. But before we get started, I have popped a link to our website where we may have added more methods on how you can fix this error if the methods in this video didn't help you out. As you can see, I currently have the error on my screen at the moment. So the easiest way to fix this error is by simply pressing OK to cancel off the install of the driver. You then need to go to your file location so mine's in my downloads folder. Once you're in the location of the file, you then need to right click on the file and go to properties. Next, you need to go to compatibility and you then need to tick the option that says run this program as an administrator and press apply and okay. Once you've done that, now go ahead and run the setup file again and see if that fixed the error. If that didn't work, then the next thing that we need to do is open up the start menu and type in system. You then need to select system information if it's not come up, then you will have to type in system information. You would then have a massive long list of information about your system. We are looking for the line baseboard manufacturer and also baseboard product. So as you can see, I have a B550A Pro. This is the motherboard that I have in my computer. So we now need to go to the website and download the Realtek driver from the manufacturer for your motherboard. So the easiest way of finding out what manufacturer you need to download the driver from is to first open up your web browser. Once open, go to Google and then just type in that model number. So as you can see, I have the B550A Pro, which means I need to type in B550A Pro and then press enter. It will now say what motherboard I have. And as you can see, I have an MSI motherboard. So I can go ahead and click onto the MSI website it actually has my motherboard here, as you can see. So I can go ahead and click onto that and it will take me to MSI. The next thing that you need to do is just go ahead and click onto support. So depending on what website you are on will depend on the layout. Basically, we are looking for a page that has loads of drivers. So as you can see, I'm now on the drivers page. If I scroll down, I should be able to find a driver for my Realtek. So the fastest way of doing this again is just going control and F. In fact, I'm actually on BIOS, so it won't be in that list. It will be under driver. And then I can go to onboard audio drivers and you can see there it says Realtek HD Universal Driver. The next thing you need to do is just, of course, make sure you are downloading the driver for the correct operating system. So I have Windows 10, which means I need to click on the drop down and select Windows 10. I can then go back to audio drivers and then press download. So you will need to do the same on the website that you're on, whether it be Asus, Dell, HP, or whatever, just find the drivers and then find the Realtek HD driver. Once it has downloaded, we can then go to the folder location. As you can see, mine is actually a zip folder, so it's not an application. You can see on the right-hand side here under type. So I need to right-click on this file and I then need to go ahead and click on to open with and go Windows Explorer. Next, I need to drag the folder to my desktop. This is going to extract the files from that zip folder. Once the files have been extracted, go ahead and open up the folder. Depending on what website you've downloaded the file from, it might just be the .exe, which you can run straight away. So we're now looking for the setup file. So you can see it's here under setup, double click on that and it will then begin the install process for Realtek. So see if this helps fix the issue. If I press next, you can see it's now beginning the install process on my computer. And there we go. As you can see, it's now installed the latest Realtek audio driver for my PC. So I hope this little video helped you out and fix Realtek audio driver error 0001 on your computer. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.